We are operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. statement at least that these technical problems are not insurmountable. We are operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. One day I'll work out why when, I, when things move around you disappear. <laughs> anyway, we've got enough of you there. So yeah, that was that was an awesome game. And uh, um, Vivi Bob Reb, thanks for being in the chat for this. I mean, especially translating the names of the decks, that's something we definitely couldn't do. Um, but this is great to see. So we're going to quickly now. I mean, especially we're... seeing as it's like just after midnight for them. Ah, uh, certainly midnight. We used to finish at midnight our time until we thought about it. Uh, so we're going to go through the pairings for this week, uh, and we're going to see what happens. So is zooming in a little bit. I know I'm probably on the wrong. Oops, that's completely the wrong page. Um, let's jump to the disc group. Yeah, oh, I'm in the disc group. Right, so there this we week go. it was ABR or Paddy's taking on notes too much to protect. We're not too. We're not much to protect taking the win. Yep. Coast to coast taking on RIP with. Them t went coast to coast walking away with the win there. Oh, that's it's pretty impressive. I mean, I mean RIP used to be KIP. Um, and winners Team ZZ. Of, the winners of Co 8 did, um, have got very far in all the events they've taken part in. So, Team Rip, uh, not an easy one to stay off. Coast to coast coming in strong there. And then we've got uh, Team Cotzina doing their usual kicking ass and taking names. Yeah, Team Coxina with the if it ain't broke. Team Coxina one of the teams that had to change their decks and gone on it very quickly. Yep, uh, great, great guys. English isn't their forte, but they are Brazilian, so and great the guys. Kilorado Gruins yeah, fallen to the tubular Timehawks. And Kilorado Gruins were another one of the teams who had to redo their decks, I believe. Uh, yes. So then we move on to not much to protect and ABR or uh, Paddy. Tonight the decks have already been drawn. It's Captains are playing 75, Blues are playing 70, and Reds are back on 65. Here you go. It's now on the screen. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, then, then yeah, I say, and that's pretty much all I've gone through. I mean, so, I mean, looking at this, Team Cotino at the top, Max, Tubular Time Holds at the top. They're going to be the two to watch here. Coast to Coast is not much to protect, though. They're going to be interested yeah. to see. I'm surprised ABR and RIP are so far down, and even if it ain't broke. But, I mean, like we always say, it's a the, tough group. Yeah, the, this is a tough group. All the groups are tough. Uh, it's only week one, uh, but it, it will uh, factor into the early game at momentum. It, until we get to the halfway point, the teams don't really need to worry about whether they're going to the you know, the qualifying ones. It's when you get if, if you get to four losses, that's when you're not going to be good. If you lose all the first four rounds, then you're most likely not making it into the top cut. But all three, all three cuts are sponsored this time, mm -hmm. so there's no excuse for anybody to stop playing. There's prizes available to anyone, no matter where they finish in the group stage. Yeah. 
So, I mean, looking at... I, I can't actually pick a game for this week that I want to watch, because oh. they're all good. I mean, Evil, I evil triplets and rib. Mm, not not given the performance. Right. What given the okay? Who are you record? Are you? Record, I don't know who you're recording this week. So, hmm? who are you recording this week? Which oh, group? Uh, uh, I think it's Untamable. I'll, I'll get to it. Get to it. But it's. I believe it's a revenge match from last round, but I'm not too sure. All right. So here we have Disillusioned who beat the final swindle two one. Uh, Jack and the Cutting won three 0 versus Welsh Shung Fetchman. And that's Jackkins, I believe, are, are a new team, and they're not. I, I still want to know is that just the name of one of their decks they put in the wrong field? <laughs> but it's an awesomely annoying name for me to fit in stuff. Uh, Welsh and Welsh Welsh Fetchman, who are, are stable. Uh, it is, yeah, it is one of the names of their decks. It's no, also it's, it's an uh, awesome name. Uh, Jay Atkins. Oh, it's a. Oh, that's funny. What's that? It's an amalgamation of their five decks. <laughs> Let's have a look. Jay Atkins is the. Uh, I've got it here. Sass. I've got it in front of the, the screen. The, yeah, the oh, that's that is brilliant. These guys get bonus points for style, <laughs> and we all know so, points mean fuck all. Uh. So it's an amalgam. Yeah, it's an amalgamation of all five decks. I think that's the first time I've seen the team do that when we've had a multi-deck event. All right. That, that is. Yeah. And these guys uh, get bonus I, points. Andrew gets style points there. I did I, I always expect Andrew to bring the style points. <laughs> That that was awesome. Um, wrong button. There we go. So I need to check out the Welsh and Fletchman, which you just said. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, they're a staple. That's, yeah, they're, they're Welsh and Fletchman. They're not a not a mediocre team. They're very strong. I mean, this is their fifth event they've been in. Uh, Lee Fordry actually taking a game a game away against the Titans Hamburg Atlantians. I mean, Hamburg Atlantians have never been as lucky in our events than they have in others. <laughs> As they're having it in, um, I mean, what's the name, they, KFBL. They've won one. Uh, they come second so. a lot. It took, it took them a while. It, it shows. I mean, this uh, this one came second in, cuts, in Coach 7, they came second. They've, got, they've come second a couple of times. They've, come, they've won one. They, they've always pretty much had a couple of teams in the top cut. Uh, but... Oh, yeah, whoa. I, if, 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 I, I've, I've not kept up to date with, the, with where they are currently are in KFBL. But I'm, if they're still in it, my money's still on them to actually walk away with the money again, with more of Jupiter's money. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, last few events, Hammer Gunnison's all of their teams made top cut. They went in. They may not have made it much further, but they all made the top cut. So the girls, Ma- they... the girls Mavericks. Uh, well, that's all them. Again. Yep. Buy, the buy has not won a game yet. Uh, it nearly did this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's one of the few teams though. To, it's one of the only. It's the only team to be in 11 events. Of te- 11 out of 10 events. <laughs> Wait, there was only two teams in, in uh, Coke Zero. How the hell was it part of Coke Zero? It was the backup team. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's an amalgamation of their decks, but this is an amalgamation of all five of their decks, but family only seems to be an amalgamation of two. Yeah. But it, it's, that's still pretty cool. So Jay Atkins are going to be on top again uh, because they've got the buy this week. And just for everyone's notice here, uh, the buys get processed roughly midnight GT, uh, GMT on Saturday. Yeah. So if you suddenly see things change on Saturday night, Sunday morning, it means the buys get processed. If they don't, and then I'll be fixing them Sunday morning and so they'll be processed Sunday lunchtime. <laughs> but that's the, that's the theory. So, Disillusion versus Welsh Infectsman, that would be a good game to see. That's probably the game. Oh, no, the final Swindle versus Hamburg Atlantians 2. That's my yeah, game. The fi- final Swindle versus Hamburg Atlantians 2. Key Forgery and Miguel's Mavericks. Because this isn't Miguel's Mavericks proper, first proper game in Coke 10. So, they're going to be coming in a bit hungry. But Key Forgery have got to be riding a little bit. Uh, they've got to be uh, hungry for a win themselves, only getting one game win uh, early on. Yeah. So let's move on to the Mars group. So this oh. is one of our Asian groups, which is where our feature game came from. So Lekul are dominating the board because they're an awesome team, but also they had to buy this week. Uh, and Lekul are going to be the team to watch with, well, as we just saw, Doom the Wandering Forgers. I, I think that when these two play off, I really hope we can... Well, I don't really want to record the same team twice, but that's the game that we're going to yeah. be looking out for. Um, and then, but also Com Officer Dua. Com, the Com Officer teams... They're coming with four teams this time, from, I believe, Indonesia. I need to get the, the flags will be back by next week. I need to work out why they're not coming. I think we got 
told off for stealing them. Um, sorry, for linking to them and not storing them locally. Um, and yeah, so it, there's lots in this group. Centralists are a staple. Three Witches could be a really good team. I mean, that's the use in it. Yeah, I mean... Well, de definitely. I mean, looking at how the games have gone, it, Lick All and DWF got... Uh, but comes off to do and Three Witches are right behind them. And looking at this week, this was... These games are a bit nuts coming up to, uh, this week. Oh, HKB have got Lick All this week. They're not going to have any yeah. fun. Ah. Oh. Three witches, so got the annoyingly for three witches and Doom DWF. They have their local team. They already know they're playing against. I, I did my best yeah, to separate the teams. Yeah, but that means we can just go play IRL. Don't be silly. No one does that anymore. Had so 2020, 2019. Yeah. What seeing Senseless, people? Senseless and comes off to after. Lickhole versus HKB is definitely going to be the game for me. Ah, uh, for me it's going to be the three witches versus the Doom Wanderer Forgers. But for after how close and how good we know K HKB can be, and we know and Lickall being featured in quite a, a few times with Coat Nine and Coat Eight, that would definitely be the one for me. Uh, DWF and Three Witches, if they, again, that would be a very close second because Three Witches are very strong. They've got some very prominent. Uh, they've had a, a few SAS members in the back uh, if, if, uh, in the past. Yeah, and it's you've got some very strong. They have got some very strong team, decks and teammates. So let, let's move on to Santum here, and, and we'll see another shocker. Hamburger Lanterns have lost again. So this well, is Hamburger Hamb Lanterns only lost one game in uh, the other group. Uh, this time they actually lost and not finished with the other group. I mean, okay, they they did come. They are the winners of Coat Six, as I'm putting on the screen. They they won the second cut for Coat Seven. They came second in Coat Eight. I, I I mean, this is actually a, a, a much bigger team. Now, but that being said, not finished with your Mamook, or previous time not finished with your mum. Uh, they are a Coat 1 top 16 finisher in Coat 7. We think they came second in Coat 3, but we couldn't remember if it's Coat 3 or Coat 4. We, we need to launch an investigation. Does anyone remember how you did a year and a half ago? Um, I really we, we, need to, we, we need to launch an investigation. Simon won his game. I didn't think that was allowed. Simon plays still? I thought he just gave up. Simon won his game. Are you sh he's not the blue player, right? Simon's not in yeah, this... Simon. No, I'm in the wrong team, sorry. Um, Simon's the blue player. One second. I, I loaded the wrong team up. Uh, Steel City Snuffergasters. Simon won his game. Simon is one of our mods. Uh, he does yeah, a lot of work behind the scenes, mainly keeping me calm. He's not allowed to win. I don't think he was allowed to win games. There was a shock in Coat 9 for him when he went, we've won two weeks in a row, what happened? <laughs> and then they went in week three and, and then I mean, it went downhill. The, the, people, the, the team they're playing up against with Watson Muffins, Iron Burma and Arkan Alters is not a weak team. God that no. Is, that is a huge win for the Steel City stuff again. They, that, they must have been really happy with that. They're probably still celebrating this probably had her from Simon for a few days. <laughs> I mean, that's an impressive win. Uh, uh, no... KFPT uh, losing to Screech, uh, the Screech Bob Bombs. Again, Screech Bob Bombs, very strong team. It's great, it's great to see these guys back for the final event. So, this is the uh, team of contention because there's two buys this week and no buys next week, I hope. Um, so, no Canfax and Zion's crew are both getting the buys. But let's if we jump on this week, we'll see there are no buys. No, uh, this, so... week, uh, this week, there's zero buys. So, in here, we have Hamburg Lanterns 1 versus Screech Bob Bomb. Um, Given the fact it took me a year to say Screech Bob Bomb's name right, uh, I'm quite happy with that. Um, then we have KFTV Generosity vs. Scree oh, sorry, one more. <laughs> KFTV vs. Zion's crew, so Italy versus Portugal, uh, UK versus Austria ish, Austria, France, and Germany. Uh, and then Italy for not finished with your Mamut versus UK Still City Snufflegators. Now, for me, it's going to have to be not finished with your Mamut versus the Seal City Snuffigators, just in case Simon wins again. No, see, the, the, I almost went to record this one, which is no Kanker fans in Austria and miserable nonsense. Yeah. You, that you do... to me it is a real, it seems to be like the one that calls out the most to me. Uh, I can see why. Uh, I'm sorry. No, definitely, I can see why. So. But I, I might come back here just to. Uh, Give the No Kanga fans in Austria a little bit of a leg up and record them when they play the Hamburg Lanterns one because the Hamburg Lanterns 
lost all their recorded games last time. So they're, they're kind of on edge about letting us record them in the future. Yeah. Oh, we won a game. Super... <laughs> so, so I how superstitious uh, game, gamers are. They're winning. I'm not going to blame them. So now we come back to uh, Ben or Kota. Only one group, one team won all three of its games, which is Can't Touch This. Yeah. With their disgusting decks. Yeah. So Ben or Kota are playing Majid Archons. Uh, well, beat Majid Archons. Uh, Abirium beat the French Imps. Last minute is the best minute beat possibly my team. <laughs> yeah, that, that's your team. Yeah. Uh... I, I blame the red player of uh, cross channel time mechanics. Oh, he played shit. I, 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 I'm not I, even going to pretend. I just think they weren't focused enough because of everything that's going on at home. <laughs> you, 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 no, actually, that, that's not the excuse at all. I, just <laughs> play, I had the terrible RNG and I played crap. The, which is why I'm particularly infuriated I'm playing the same deck this week. <laughs> <laughs> but that's is, life. Is, is that the deck that uh, you had me test for you and I just like destroyed it with my next? Yeah. Well, you didn't destroy it the second time just beat, well, I mean, the you second just, time was pretty much a, a mirror match the second time you just beat me it wasn't a destroy I had a key at least <laughs> uh Akons and Better Call Cutter yeah Better Call walking away 2-1 to one. Uh, we, yeah we went above that a bit higher and that's it I think so okay. moving to this it, week's it, rounds it, it, it's a t- it seems to be a bit of a tough group but this week can't touch this take on you guys I, I, I can't wait for this one <laughs> Uh, uh, Who am I playing? Hachu Roberts. Uh, I believe you're taking a warden. On... I'm taking a warden, which, well, should, yeah. which means I'm taking on this piece of fun. How many infernuses can I have in one deck? Oh you're no! Taking on, you're, you're taking on Crusader. Crusader, very, Crusader, very good player. Uh, when I played in the K Online and uh, farewell to this events in the Polish ones, Crusader was often quite uh, high up on the tables. Very good player. Yep, I think I played him before, actually. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting. Uh, against your deck, it could be. It's going to be very. It's going to be very interesting. I need to just play my deck more. Um, okay, but I mean, apart from that, coming up for next week, the, in all serious, the game I'd want to watch is last minute is the best minute versus KFTP, KFPT Iberium. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that, the game. That game, uh, that game, and your game came up on my list of possible ones I want to record, but uh, I might wait for Can't Touch This to be up against someone good. <laughs> no, no, not someone good. It's more I want I want to wait till they've got some kind. Of, it's disgusting deck versus disgusting deck. I also want to wait till that four, the uh, four Infernus decks back on the table. <laughs> So, we have our second Eastern Europe and Asian group. Um, I didn't get too much criticism for lumping half of Asia with all of Eastern Europe and Russia because of just time zone-wise, it was that or some very unhappy people in America. Um, So, Brain Games LV, which had been renamed BOG, lost to Clutch Key. Now, these are both great teams. Uh, Brain Games LV actually came second, I think, in Coat 2? Yeah, because uh, yeah, they came second in Coat 2. Uh, I don't have all the results that far back because I had this Tuck Crash and I used Excel back then when it was a simpler time. Um, but, I mean, these guys are a staple. I mean, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they were there since Coat 2. The, these guys are probably our, our, our best at attending other than buy and drop. Uh, um, and they're playing Kluchki, who, again, have been here for how long now? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? With a slight change to their name, with a have a capital added to it. And yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen those two play each other though. Yet they are fairly close well, by. Yeah, the, the, usually we have a lot more European groups and they get spread out. But no, we we still have three. We always have three European groups. It's just that we keep getting more teams in Europe. <laughs> so now we have Commerce de Lima versus Lance. So this is Malaysia versus Indonesia, and then we have Indonesia versus the Russian Smiths, who are in Russia, believe it or not. But, yeah, Russian Smiths, very strong team. We've seen them play a few. They've been oh. a, a few events. Uh, yeah, well, she played eight and ten. They did really well at eight. I expect great things from them in ten. Yeah, the bio is one of the more inspired. Don't know what to write here, uh, <laughs> but we have got the old videos if you want to watch them in Co Eight. I mean, they kicked ass in Co Eight. Uh, I D Twenty Primus had the buy. D Twenty Primus were a top cut finisher, I believe, last event. I don't think I have it in there yet. Yeah, 
Uh, and then we and that's it so i mean this is what we have coming through this week the game i want to watch most is Butchkey, russian smiths yeah or, or d20 premiers versus common for satu one mm, for me Kutchki and russian smiths called out to me because uh they both won their first round yep that's a, that's a fair point they're the current leaders <sighs> oh, yeah. i'm sorry great to see that going out here uh, one to unfathomable. So, ABR Bullet Bills beating Pan- Pan- Panther <laughs> Beecher, which are previous champions of Coat 9. Yeah, Panther like Beecher. I really need to give them the uh, award for, for winning Coat 9. I'll do that in a minute. Especially now they've got the, uh, actually got the presents. Boots, formerly Rocket Boots, I believe. Yep, I'll do Floxum. I mean. Floxum with with uh, both the captain. With Orion and Jupiter both losing their games, but the Crystal Hive actually win, uh, and Crystal Hive winning. Very rare to see Jupiter actually go down a game. That's quite interesting. Mm. That, I mean, you've got yeah, Jack, you got Jeffrey PP, Jack Ryder, and Scott Tuber in uh, Rocket Boots. Rocket Boots go very good team. That is a hell of a matchup. Quite interesting to see that one there. Uh, Cloggins, Reckless Pirates, which is an amalgamation of their actual names. Yep. I didn't realise uh, that until just now, but yeah. <laughs> oh, they're, and, they're and they're playing New York City. And they're playing New York City this week. Uh, mm. Who I, I, I'm cheering on in every event since they've been in, and I have no idea why, but I just love the name. 5, 6, 7, yeah. 8, 9, 10. I mean, they, I they mean, did... New York, New York City were the final... I think New York City were the finalists in Coke. I've really uh, got to put the results yeah, into the sheet. I, I, I apologise for not just... I, I, New York City have always got a good one. Uh, which game speaks out to you the most here? For round two, it's got to be New yep. York City cloggings. Or Repel ah. versus Packer Beecher. Well, look at it. That's the featured game. Okay. Packer Beecher and Repel. Ah. Well, it's only a close second. But yeah, they are the champions versus Repel who never make top four. They're a great team, but they just never seem to quite get pull off the RNG in that they, round. They always have that. I think they've made it to top four... But they always have the hardest time getting there. They got. And they always give the te- the people that they face in the uh, top in the top cup the hardest time. I mean, we've got you, cup one and top sixteen, when, now, so I need to look when, into if, it. If if Repout is on your way to the top cup, chances are you've got the hardest route to the top cup. Which generally is the winner. This is true. Uh, I mean, what's it that can't touch this said to us the time they won? We're gonna get knocked out round one. Versus oh, Repel. Oh, yeah, We're going to knock out round two versus KIP. We're going to knock out round three. That like... was when we had a top 32 as well, wasn't it? I can't. It may well have been. I can't remember. And but they were it... like, yeah, it's been great playing. And then they just kept winning and went after winning. And I, I featured them against Repel. Thinking like, yeah, okay. If they go in, I want to record them at the best. And then they just kept winning. To their own surprise. So, yeah. we, and as I always say, we do have the concept of uh, Cypots here. So we, we generally have a way of listing all the new teams, so you can see how the new teams are ranking up against each other. We, we, we're not doing Untamed? Did we, did we miss out Untamed? Oh, my yeah, bad. You, no, you missed out Untamed. I'm in the group waiting. Fine. <laughs> it's only Hamburger, Lanterns 3, Key Frogs, Gilhart's Chosen. Like half the audience we have watching yeah, this right now. <laughs> Key, Frogs took, Key Frogs won against Forget and Switch 3-0. That's good. That is that Forget and Switch, not an easy team to take down. I mean, looking at this, they all won 3-0. All the games are three zero. Yeah. The time hog, the Kippy Time Hogs, and Hamburg Atlanteans losing three zero to the Kippy Time Hogs. No, let's be clear. The Kippy Time Hogs is an awesome team as well. Uh, they, they are yeah. new. They are named known jo- people. George Seven Russell. Uh, you say new, it's more an amalgamation of previous teams, yeah. but still, very very good team. Definitely. I mean, and and if you want to look at who they're playing this week. For me, it's the Broken Algorithm versus Hamburg Lanterns 3, realistically, is the game I'm going to want to watch out of this lot. For me, it was Grizzle Hearts Chosen and the Keeper Time Hogs because it's uh, two UK teams taking each other on, which is something we haven't had in, in, in Coke in a very long time. Yeah, definitely not. So it, it's going to be interesting to see. But as ever, it's all, all good games, and it's all a case of seeing what we oh, have coming through. The, the reason I... Re- chose to record an american team this week is because one on next tuesday my wife goes away for two weeks to the netherlands for some cons over there 
So I won't be able to record American teams during that time because I'm going to be child caring. And two is this upcoming Saturday is the September Stonebrook Brawl tournament. So chances are I'm going to be up till 2, 3 a.m. on Saturday anyway. So if the games are running late, Chris doesn't have to feel too bad about me staying up late to record them because chances are I'm already planning to stay up late to record, to watch the Stonebrook Brawl tournament. Not playing it? Uh, no, I didn't get. I, I didn't even try to get top three hundred in October, in in August. Oh, fair enough. I bro. might I might try to get over four k in the next nine days, but I I play Stoke Brawl for fun. I, it's not something where I'm like feeling competitive about. Uh, same with the new My Hero Academia card game that's coming. I want. I, I kind of want to get away from being over competitive with card games. Seeing as when Keyforge was around in my local area, I literally killed it by being too over competitive. So I need to focus more about having fun with the game than getting competitive with the game. I have to ask this question very clearly from one, one competitive person to another. What's fun again about any of this stuff? See, for me, whenever someone said, Why can't you just have fun? I'd always answer with, Winning is fun. Yeah. But for me, the, my, my Hero Academia game for me feels like it's going to be able, I'm going to be able to have fun with it because it's a fandom I already enjoy and it's a deck builder which means I can just build decks around a fandom I already enjoy That's going to feel like it's going to be fun the big thing for me is if, if All for One comes in for it then I'm going to have me having fun no matter what I don't care it's going to be one of those things that when I, like when I played Magic and I just built dragon decks and people are like they're not competitive it's like, I don't give a shit if they're competitive they're dragons <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be playing My Hero Academia because my daughter's mates are starting to watch it again. So hey. uh, I'm gonna. It's well, just different from all the other stuff she watches. So it's a nice change. It's the release date's been confirmed for the 15th of October in America. Hopefully, we'll get a around the same time. Pre-releases are going to be on the 8th of October, but my wife isn't back from the Netherlands then, which means I can't take part in them. Any but, excuse. I've already pre-ordered a box. I pre-ordered a full box, and I have credit at my local store for enough for the starter decks. So once the starter decks come in, I'll I'll probably come down to Bitsy on like a Monday when they do Keyforge and stuff. We can. We can. I I can't kick your ass because I don't know how to play it. This that is, won't stop you. <laughs> this is universes. This is a card game strategy I have no idea about. I tried Digimon the uh, a few weeks ago, and I just got my butt kicked for an entire evening. It was still fun. I just got my butt kicked for an entire evening. Some people pay a lot of money for that sort of fun. <laughs> but yeah, <sighs> no. Of course, I fu now now at the end of the show, I finally fixed your video. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, look, let's let's call it there. We're, we're 100 minutes in. So thanks for watching I today. I was going to say, probably going to call him. I promise not to stay in school. I need to catch up sleep before my next 7 a.m. call. But guys, thanks for watching the show today. Thanks for playing the event. We hope you're having fun and we'll catch you next week. Remember, any complaints, any issues, we will fix it in the future event and we hope you're enjoying our last event ever. So, thank I'm you. I'm just going to find someone to uh, raid. And I'll put the credits on while you do that. Thank you. Uh, that then. Oh, and thanks, Josie, for the awesome new art. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big thanks, Josie, for the new art.